Hey everyone. So today I wanted to share with you guys something that I've been working on. As you know, the last um, video was a lavender creme brulee and pretty much since then I've been a little bit obsessed with using lavender for things. And so I decided that I was going to experiment with these dried lavender blossoms that we've used last time. And so that's what I wanted to share with you guys. Today we will be making lavender extract. Okay, so what is lavender extract? Well, there's basically two ways that you can make it. It's pretty similar to, well, it's exactly similar to a vanilla extract or any other kind of extract. You can either do this the boozy way or the non-alcoholic way. So a week ago, I tried it doing the boozy way. Um, I put one part lavender blossoms to like four, no, eight parts vodka, something like that. So this is our first batch of lavender extract and I'll try to get it close. You can see it looks disgusting. <laughs> it's pretty murky. Um, but yeah, basically those are the lavender blossoms. They've been in there for a week and you want to store these guys in a cool, dry, a cool, dry place where they're outside of the sun because the sun can damage them. So I decided to make this one with vodka. The, day, the one we are going to make today, however, is non-alcoholic and it is going to be made with this terrifying thing. This is vegetable glycerin, food grade. If you're gonna buy some of this, be sure you buy food grade. I don't know why <laughs> I got such a big tub of it, but now I've got it, so I gotta find a use for it. So yeah, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoy. Now I see fire. Inside the mountain, I see fire burning the trees, and I see fire hollow and soul. I see fire blood in the breeze. And I hope that you remember me. As you could tell, I ran out of the lavender that I was using and luckily I had some extra culinary lavender, which I'm a little bit bummed because I wanted this to be a direct experiment um, to be able to see what the taste difference is between these two. Um, but I think it'll still be a pretty good experiment. I mean, you could see the consistency of that glycerin stuff was like so thick. So that'll be really interesting to see how this guy turns out versus how this guy turns out. My guess is that this one, because it is not with vodka, will be a little bit sweeter. It's been fun playing with this. Um, I will check back with you guys um, once this is done and then we'll keep playing. Thanks for joining me. Okay, so it has been two weeks since this guy has been soaking, so I'm gonna go ahead and um, extract it so just by straining out all of the lavender blossoms and right now you can see my orange juice but you can also see on the stove I have um, equal parts sugar and water and that's just a simple syrup recipe you just boil sugar and water and then yeah you get simple syrup and then we're gonna go ahead and add some of this lavender extract to the simple syrup and see how it goes Another option that I might try is to do this with lavender blossoms, kind of like I did for the creme brulee in one of the other episodes. Um, I might try that out too and see how that works. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, let's just give this a shot.
decided to make the simple syrup with the lavender blossoms just kind of as an experiment to see if it does taste the same as the extract because obviously if it does it's a lot faster for me to just make these with these dried blossoms instead of letting the extract sit for two weeks so we'll see Hey guys, so the time has finally come for me to extract the alcohol-free lavender extract from the glycerin. So it's been two weeks, I've been giving this guy a little stir and it is time to make some simple syrup out of this one. So I've got that on the stove right now and yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and filter all of this out and then we'll get started. Thanks for joining me. Okay, now it's time for a little taste test. So I have um, two things that I'm gonna test out first. First, this is the lavender extract that we made from vodka. And then this guy is the lavender extract that is alcohol free, the one we just made. So I'm gonna see if I can taste the difference between the two of those. I, can, I already did taste it. And I can tell you that there is a significant difference. Um, the lavender extract that's made from vodka, the vodka gives it much more of an well, it's alcohol, so it has definitely like a more of a menthol taste. Um, but that definitely changed as soon as I put it into the simple syrup. So I'm really interested in seeing if there's a difference there. So first off, <laughs> don't need to get drunk off of extract in my home. Okay. Lavender extract from vodka. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I was, <laughs> it was far apart far too early in the day. I mean, it tastes like, I mean, if you've ever tasted vanilla extract, it tastes horrible too. So there's that one. I'm gonna drink some water. Try to cleanse my palate. Huh. Okay. Really good advertising here. Um, let's try the alcohol freeze one. This is again, extract, not simple syrup. This is just purely been sitting with the blossoms for two weeks. Okay. Oh, goodness gracious. I gotta tell you though, these smell amazing. Like as soon as I opened up the jar, it was like, oh my gosh, this smells so good. Okay. This one, still very strong, but so much sweeter. So oh, that's done. Let's move on to the simple syrup. So I actually have three different simple syrups to try. This one, um, well, we'll start with the first one. This is the lavender simple syrup that we made from the vodka extract. This is the lavender simple syrup that I made just from it being on the stove with the blossoms. So if this one works, this is the easiest way to go. And then the last one is the one we've just made. The one with the simple syrup, uh, sorry, the simple syrup that's made with the extract that was from the glycerin. Okay, simple syrup with alcohol. 
This has a much more syrupy texture to it, like a syrupy consistency. Okay, that's super good. Honestly, I think this could even use more of the extract. So I might do that. Mmm. That's delicious. Okay. Let's try for another one. Okay. To me, this just tastes like sugar water. Like, don't get me wrong, it's delicious, but that doesn't have too much of a lavender taste to me, which is kind of a bummer because this would have been the easiest one. And in one of the websites that I saw, it said to just let it be in there for like 10 minutes and I let it in there for like an hour. This is the one that I am the most hopeful for because I want to be able to create a simple syrup that's alcohol free that you can put in your lemonade and over ice cream and in, you know, you can use it to make whipped cream. I would love to have a lavender product that can do all of these things. So let's see if this works. This one's still a little hot. Oh, it's not that hot though. Mm. Again, this one just tastes like sugar to me. Maybe if I add a little bit more. Let's do this. I'm gonna add one more tablespoon of the extract and see what happens. So, okay, so I've added one more tablespoon. Let's give it a taste. dropped some. Again, it still just tastes like sugar water. Hmm. Let's try something else. I'm going to let this sit on the stove on low with some sugar blossoms, no, nope, with some lavender blossoms inside. And then I'm going to let it sit for like an hour off and see if that makes it more lavendery. The experiment continues. Okay, so I ended up letting that sit um, on the stove on low for about 30 minutes uh, with the blossoms inside, and then I let it sit turned off for like a couple hours. And then I even just popped that in the fridge and just let it cool, um, and I just strained it now today, so let's see how it tastes. Here's our lavender simple syrup, alcohol free. Much better. This definitely has a more powerful lavender taste, um, and yet it's still super sweet, um, as you would expect from just equal parts sugar and water. So yeah, in conclusion, the um, simple syrup that we made from the two lavender extracts are definitely way better than the one that was made on the stove with just the blossoms, um, which is kind of a bummer because it takes like two weeks for the extract um, to be made. And yet um, the both the one made with vodka and the alcohol-free one are super tasty and definitely have a distinct lavender flavor. So yeah, it's been a fun experiment. Thank you so much for joining me on this lavender adventure. Please stay tuned as I'm gonna try out some more lavender products because now I have the stuff and I'll still be cooking and making fun things in the home too. Thank you so much for joining me and have a great day. Stop. Stop. Stop.